Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. Well, we're at the Wendland Ranch today, where both Wade and Steve Nessel from Yamaha have opted to take the Thompson Center Compass rifle into the field. Whenever I get a chance to hunt with Wade, there's, there's usually an opportunity to hunt however I like. And Wade will sometimes say, how do you want to hunt, you know, rifle or bow? And, and for me, it, it, you know, there's, it, it becomes about a chance to success things sometimes, but the, you just can't beat going out with a rifle. So I got lucky enough to go out on a rifle hunt here on the Wendland Ranch, and I got the ultimate guide and uh, budding cameraman, uh, Scott Wenlet, he is the guy who's responsible for the awesome deer on this property. I mean, he, he runs this thing with an iron fist and for good reason, we're out to take mature bucks and mature bucks only. So armed with the TC compass, uh, we had 30 odd six, we went out and didn't have really too many hunts to try and get something done. And we had a, a pretty broad shooter list, uh, everything from, you know, trophy animals to maybe a management deer, depending on what came in and, you know, what Scott was thinking. That's the beauty of having him there with me in the stand behind the camera is we can, you know, talk him back and forth, decide which animal we want to take. And, and so we went out and in the first morning we got up into a, a stand where we were actually pretty elevated in a tree. Finally gets light enough and we can start seeing deer and actually some of the big guys have already out, you know, they've already wandered off. We're sitting there and we're looking for a couple particular deer, a couple of eight points probably. And you know, who, who knows what's going to come in when, when one of the shooter eights, I think Scott said he's like eight or nine years old and you can tell he's on the way down. He's not very big, probably a deer you probably, you want to take. And before we can get set up and get on him, he's actually off and wandered off. He didn't stay in the setup for maybe five minutes. So. We've got a nine point in front, it's too young. We've got some spikes all over the place and we just have movement and it's cool. I mean, I'm enjoying the morning, it's beautiful. It's, it's cool, but not too cool, not even too warm. You know, it's, it's nice and we're hanging out and I'm learning a lot from Scott as we sit there about property, about the deer in front of us and all in all, no shooting, uh, but a lot of shooting a video and conversation with a guy who's teaching me a lot about deer. So nothing wrong with that. I hesitate to say I went into the evening uh, sit with high hopes because it was really warm and you know even me um, I'm not I'm still you know I'm still on the, the infancy of my hunting lifespan I would say um, I kind of knew that it was super hot and the deer might not get up and they might not move I mean they've got so many acorns and other food sources around that they they probably ate when it was cool in the morning bedded down they may not need to eat and if they don't why get up when it's hot you know so we're we got back up in the same spot we get settled, we get, and we didn't get into a little later because it was so hot, but in plenty of time to give us at least, you know, a couple, two, three hours worth of hunting, and there's just nothing going on. Um, we, we waited a long time. We saw a couple spikes come in, and actually one of them stomped behind us for, for a good 10 minutes thinking that he was going to bust us, and, you know, neither one of us cared about each other, but he finally came in and around and, and then wandered off, and then all of a sudden a buck comes in, and we're excited, and it's that nine point we saw in the morning. And he, again, just kind of lived in front of us for the entire evening, but sad to say, other than a parade of spikes, that's about it. I mean, it was, it was, I'll say it, it was a frustrating sit because we didn't see any of the, the bigger deer we saw in the morning and we didn't see any of the shooter deer that we had on our list. It's never bad to get out and sit up in a tree, but a little frustrated, you know, they just weren't moving as much as we wanted them to. And to be honest with you, we looked at each other and, and almost the same point, we said, we think we're probably not going to come back here in the morning. And like, no, no, we're not. So we got down, got in the Wolverine and uh, headed back to camp and, and then actually talked some more strategy about what do we do uh, tomorrow morning because this, the last morning, that would be my final time to hunt here in Texas this time around. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha ATV and Side-by-Sides. Real world tough. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Garmin Rhino 7 Series. Wherever you hunt, make it Rhino Country. The full line of Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles with class-leading durability and reliability 
all real world tough. For sale, Lakeside Getaway. Solid construction with mudroom. For 200 bucks, no mortgage necessary. Cabela's West Wind Dome Tent. Great price. Lifetime guarantee only at Cabela's. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. All right, it's my last morning in Texas, unfortunately. We're heading to a new spot from where we were yesterday. Deer just weren't moving enough and at the right time where we're at, so we're gonna try it. Uh, it's tripod set up in a place in between a bedding area and, and some water where the deer are kind of coming through, uh, making it kind of a transition zone. So hopefully I, uh, I get lucky and we see one of the guys on the list this morning and I can get, it, get him back and get him dressed, get him clean. Get them all set up and ready to go before I have to head back to the, the grind of the work week. So last morning, fingers crossed, it'll be fun regardless, but we're out. First morning, first hunt, we had deer all over the place. This was no different, except they were running all around. They were sparring, fighting. They were just, I mean, just having a good time. And I saw this, this white faced, you know, old looking deer with these dark horns. And, and Scott said, there's a shooter buck over there. And I kind of look at him and I'm wondering if I'm looking at the same deer. And I was, we, we, you know, we communicated back and forth. That's the guy we're going for. But he was the only one not playing. And what I mean by that is he looked like deer would normally look if they were, if they weren't oblivious to our presence. It's almost like he knew we were there. He's coming in, he gets into, a, it's, it's where I, want, I really would prefer to shoot him. I look at Scott, we're good to go. The deer moves to his right. And you know, it's not supposed to be easy, so we're gonna have to wait and see if he gets back into range again. So then the deer does something that I didn't really anticipate. He went back into the trees off to our right, and then he circles, he gets further away from us, and he's coming back, but he's probably 30 yards further away. And he's getting outside this little tree line, and it's not a, an established, there's a couple trees there off to the left. And I'm on him, but I can't tell if Scott's can see him. And then all of a sudden he stops perfectly. Holy cow, what a morning. What a final morning. Opening deer season in Texas for me. Oh my goodness, what a morning. I think I probably just scored the most skittish deer in the field. There's so much activity. I'm surprised we got a shot off and yet it's still early. But my goodness, he's <laughs> right there. He's right there. <laughs> no drama in tracking. He's right there, good shot. Down deer, mature buck, nine point brown horns, out, comes out. Oh, <laughs> that was awesome. Spooky deer. The spookiest deer, I thought he had me. He just kept looking around. He came in, he's moving slower than it. There's deer fighting for 45 minutes off to our right this morning. They're not fighting, they're just sparring. They're just messing around, having a good time. Big bucks walking around. I think maybe some does or spikes. I don't know, I was on this guy and I was afraid he wasn't gonna get, it's right there. It's right there. Woo! Ooh, there's still deer in the field. <laughs> yes. What a great way to end a hunt. That is awesome. <laughs> that deer just falls right where he is he's done and we're done and we've just harvested an awesome animal on my last morning in texas i'm there on the wendlet ranch i've got scott wendlet the guy who knows these deer better than anybody as my camera guy helping me you know decide which is the most mature deer and again i probably could have picked him out because he seemed like the smartest deer in the field to me but we just got an awesome trophy this this cool looking eight who you know according to scott has maybe come down a little bit you know from year to year he, but he's got dark chocolate horns he comes up he goes out and then he doesn't come in which i think is super cool and, and man he's hanging back in camp and i've got meat and awesome experience and stories to tell for days and it couldn't be a better final hunt in texas for me can't wait to get back out here the yamaha whitetail diaries is brought to you by thompson center america's master gun maker high-vis shooting systems, 
See what you've been missing. Bradley's Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Angle Coolers. A legend in reliability. Man versus nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who'll come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Efficient power, shooting 370 feet per second at only 140 pounds of draw weight. The ultralight Eclipse RCX boasts next generation reverse cam technology, taking your performance to inspiring new levels. 10 point, perfection lives here. The art of the hunt is not painted with a broad brush. Its eye is in the details. The note on the refrigerator, a set of broadheads tried and true. The well-worn boots, soaked in dough estrus, and a Garmin Rhino, the only GPS with two-way radio. Clear the rhubarb out of the freezer. It's whitetail season in Rhino country. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. Wade and Steve Nessel from Yamaha are hunting the Wendlet Ranch. Now, Steve has already knocked down a solid eight point. So let's see if Wade has any luck as he heads to a platform stand for the afternoon. Temperatures are a little bit uh, above average. I'm gonna say it's probably in the upper 80s right now, probably should be in the mid 70s. Lows in the evenings right now are only getting down into the upper 60s, low 70s. But the deer activity, I mean, they're, they're wanting to really start separating themselves, establish dominance. You're seeing a few scrapes, a few rubs here and there. Um, but, you know, it's pretty warm. So what that means to me is we're gonna be setting up uh, on a little food plot alongside a ridge high up in a tree stand. I think the deer will probably start moving as that sun gets a little bit lower, gets a little cooler. They'll filter down off this ridge that you can see off here to the right. Uh, we're gonna be sitting on a small food plot and we've got just enough rain recently that it's come up real well. And these deer are gonna kinda mill around in there hopefully in that last hour, hour and a half of the day. But we're gonna get in there about two hours before they start showing up. Uh, get settled in, get you know climbed up, and just kind of see what happens. There's several good deer showing up on scouting cameras uh, up here, and you know we'll just see if one of them will get into range. We got about 400 yards from where we parked the bike in to go, so it's time to put on the safety harness and backpack and grab that TC and go to hunt. We've got this great uh, platform uh, stand, uh, probably 20, 25 feet up in the air. It overlooks a series of oak patches. Uh, it's a great ridge. It's a super bedding area. The deer come off the top of this ridge. They funnel down into this open area where there's a creek bottom. I mean, there's just a million and one reasons why a deer would want to call this area home. And when you look at, at the location of this tree and where you feel like the prevailing wind would be, I mean, it makes all the sense in the world to be a perfect rifle hunting scenario. Uh, you know, you can see long distances, you got plenty of angles, a great base to put a shooting sticks up on. And, and the wind, you know, historically what it does, you know, you, you understand it and the sun's gonna set to the left. And I mean, it's just, I mean, a million and one reasons in my opinion why this is a perfect stand, but it's not panning out. You know, I'm sitting in this tree and we're seeing does and I'm watching all these deer move around in this area. But in my mind, I'm also playing out another scenario. 
I'm looking out to the edge of this broom weed field and I'm thinking the entire time that would be a great spot to either build a ground blind or, or bring a pop-up in because I could actually still see two of the, the oak patches that we're sitting over right now in this tree, but I can also see down towards the creek flat. Uh, you know, after talking about it and, and discussing it, that was kind of the plan. We decided to basically build a, a big pop-up line and put it on this flat right in the shadows where we had multiple options and then just give it a rest, you know, brush it all in and then just leave it alone for a while. Coming up next, Wade moves into the pop-up blind and we'll see if his plan pays off. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. The thing about public land is that most people hunt the same old beaten path. The thing about you is, you're not most folks. Introducing the new TC Compass, only by Thompson Center. Follow your own compass with America's master gun maker. Protect it or lose it. 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 We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. When the time comes, will you be ready? We're giving away 10 DS4K models between now and the end of the year. To enter for your chance to win, text STEALTH to 59262. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. You work hard to put feed where you need it, when you want it. And thanks to our patented Spintech spinner mechanism that elevates up and down, you'll no longer have feed go to waste due to wind or unwanted varmints. When the motor is shut off, the spinner plate is automatically pushed up tight and sealed against the hopper, protecting your feed. Stop wasting your time and let the Spintech technology work for you. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Ingalls got the original high-performance cooler and a whole lot more.
Engel coolers. Go with the original. The Bubba Blade 4-inch gut hook. Featuring mossy oak breakup country, fashions a high carbon stainless steel blade built perfectly to meet your needs. Designed for effective precision cutting. The famous Bubba Blade handle, featuring mossy oak breakup country, providing ultimate control when harvesting your game. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Purina's Quick Drop is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out. Hercules Outdoor Industries is the new leader in hunting blinds. However you hunt, Hercules is the one blind for all needs. Hercules blinds are entirely made in the USA using high quality fiberglass components that can last through rain, snow, and all those cold winters. All Hercules fiberglass hunting blinds are foam insulated and carpeted, and Hercules Outdoor Industries will arrange to have it delivered directly to you. Find out more at HerculesOutdoors.com. When you're out hunting, make sure you're carrying Grove Tech. Grove Tech is designed specifically for the rigorous demands of the hunt and sets the standard for strength and ruggedness when out in the field. Grove Tech products have simply built the best tools for the job and are proudly made in the USA. Go hunt. We'll carry the gun. Grove Tech. Since 1984, Sawyer Products has offered the most technologically advanced solutions for protection against sun and bugs. Sawyer Picaridin Insect Repellent is effective against mosquitoes and flies. It's safe on you and your gear. And to maximize your protection, use a combination of Picaridin with odorless permethrin for your clothing and gear. Sawyer's Stay Put Sunscreen will keep you comfortable and getting better protection for even longer. You're already outdoors. Sawyer keeps you there. Every day, your eyes are exposed to dust, debris, and wind. Only Wiley X removable gaskets block it all out, and your eyes remain safe. Wiley X, absolute premium protection for sportsmen. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. You've seen us here before. <laughs> the ridge runs this way, the creek runs that way. All the fields are out here in front of us. And we've been climbing 20, 25 feet up in a, a tree stand that just overlooks a series of three oat patches. And, and we're seeing deer every time. But we're not seeing the same deer we're seeing on scouting camera. Um, the wind feels right. Everything, to me, looks right. We came over here a couple days ago. We built a pop-up, and this is a monstrous pop-up. This is Cabela's six-sided pop-up, and this is a gigantic pop-up blind. We brushed it all in. We got it in the shade. We're actually going out farther to the end of these oak patches where we can see out into these big fields over here towards the creek. And I made another change. I put on my lucky hat. This is my oldest Cabela's visor camouflage hat and uh, so we're gonna see if it comes through for us tonight because on the scouting camera there's a multitude of shooters we just hadn't seen them so far you know when when things come together it, they just come together you can sit for hours and days and months and you know for some people years at a time and just the plan never comes together you never see that deer you're looking for and in this case, the parade kind of started. Some does came out and a small buck or two came out and they're just milling around this oat patch. And off to the left, uh, literally within feet of the tree that we had been sitting in, this big old boy comes stepping out. Giant deer, giant deer. Right on the edge of that brush line. That deer's not 30 yards from where we've been sitting in that tree. Just come out almost right below us. Giant deer. I, the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw that deer step out was we have sat in that tree for several days. Where's, you know, I mean, gosh, why is he there? Well, then it was like, man, that's a big deer. 
and he starts milling around out in the field, kind of looking out in the field and looking in the shadows. He's turning around. He's just, he's just like a big deer. You would expect a bigger deer to do. He'd come out on that brush line and look around, and then all of a sudden he just kind of turns and starts walking his way up into the into the oak patch and just easing along, picking up a bite here and there. And I had glassed him and ranged him, and now it's time to grab the rifle because there wasn't a doubt in my mind that was a shooter. And he's about to go over the berm that leads to the next oak patch. And, and I'm thinking, well, if he goes at the right trail, I might be able to get a shot there. But if he goes to that next oak patch, I'm not going to be able to see him. That berm's pretty tall. But then he turns and he starts walking back down the closer side uh, to the oak patch. And, but once again, I'm blocked. Smoked him, smoked him. I mean, that big old sucker, we have been sitting in this field for some time. We've been sitting in this field, we've been walking, working this big tree stand over here, watching the sun go down and could not get on a good deer, could not get on a good deer and built this pop-up blind over here. Really set it up perfect so we'd be, have a better spot to be able to get in here and hunt. And, sorry. And I mean, it couldn't work perfect. The wind gotten better in our favor. We got in here, it got set up. That buck literally came out and postured himself underneath that, underneath that tree right there where we've been sitting at. And for whatever reason, I guess it's the wind or swirling or something. When we were getting in that tree stand, we just weren't seeing any bucks, occasional doe. This deer came in and he worked along here and he got all the way up into the field and kind of disappeared. And then he came back down this edge here. And I had to grunt and he bleed at him to get him to stop. But I mean, he was right in the perfect area and we smoked that sucker. I mean, what a buck. He's got big, long tines. He's a mainframe 10 with kickers. I got a chance to look at that deer far longer than I would like to because he was blocked so many times. Whew. The old compass strikes right there, buddy. Wow. You talk about strategy. This one worked to our favor right here to reset the way we were i mean and i love that blind or that tree stand we were setting up in over there it's freaking awesome but i can see deer out here and, and something just wasn't right in comparison to what else we were seeing and so we come down here and built this big thing set it up perfect brushed it all in you can see the same stuff right here that's growing out here's what we threw all over it let it let it rest for a couple days waited till that big wind and that buck I mean, if he didn't come out 20 or 30 yards from where I sit, and he came out 20 or 30 yards from where we'd been and milled around, and we got him. You know how I know we got him? Because we can see him out there in that field. This is an awesome blind right here. All right. Let's go up here and get him recovered. This is warm weather hunting at its finest right here. You talk about character. Look at this. I mean, that main beam, it almost wraps all the way around. You can see I've got a kicker off this G2, kicker off that three, kicker off that brow tine. I mean, an old bruiser of a war horse of a buck. There's our stand that we've been sitting in on these other days, and you've, you've, you've seen everything up and down through here. And, and he came in, and he worked all the way around. He was going back down there, maybe to go down to that creek down there. and. He was moving at a pretty good clip when I stopped him, but I mean, I know what the compass is gonna do. I shot this thing, it's just dead on, shooting tacks straight out of the box, it's shooting incredible groups and everything. I'm shooting a 30-06 right there, which is, you know, arguably one of America's top three deer cartridge, and you saw the result. I mean, when I hit him, you could see the dust flying after that deer went down. I mean, that was, that's what it's all about. That's, that's a plan coming together for perfection right there. To have that deer step out by the stand and then walk around that field and then come out and then just stop perfectly broadside, give me a look, and allow us to crack that buck like that, I mean, that was pretty awesome.